Hey everybody, Drew Hay here from Phil Hay & Sons. So I'm going to make this video real quick. We're starting a upon renovation project. It was a situation where this owner, he bought the property. The pond was actually full of it all at once. He come home from vacation. It was like somebody pulled the plug on the bathtub and the thing drained down immediately. So what we did was he actually had put some uh, uh, pond dye in his pond to see if it was leaking out anywhere below the dam to see if he could actually find a leak himself. And next thing we know, he actually sent us a video where his uh, kitchen sink, whenever he turned on the water, the water come out of the faucet just as blue and pretty as could be. And uh, so anyhow, this pond was actually leaking into his well for his house that supplies the, that supplies the water for there, for in their home for residential use. So anyhow, we drained the pond for him uh, in the fall uh, until we could get down here to, to uh, do this renovation and I'm going to flip the phone around because this is something that we see all the time and if you go back through the videos that we've done here on YouTube or Facebook what I want to do is show you something here real quick because this pains me every time I see this and it just pains me pains me pains me and again do your research on the people that you're thinking about building a pond for you because this is just something I see over and over again and it breaks my heart whenever I see it so usually one of the first two things that we always see on a pond that doesn't hold water is they didn't do a core trench, keyway depending on what part of the country you're from, so what you call it, or they didn't strip the topsoil out of the dam. So I'm going to flip this video around real quick. I'm going to show you the dam. You'll see the breach that, that uh, we put in to drain the pond uh, in the fall there, and then yeah, I'm going to show you this topsoil here. So just bear with me here a second. Okay, you can see my excavator bucket there, and you can take... And look at all the topsoil. You can see the breach that we did through here to drain. And look at all the topsoil that's underneath this dam. Topsoil is porous. It doesn't hold water, folks. And it's just saturated underneath there. There's logs and trees and everything buried underneath here. And of course, I'm getting down to good clay right here that I like. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take, strip this all out, get a new core trench in here. And basically what we're going to do is flop the dam down the width of the dam on top of the new uh, core trench and we're going to expand this pond a little bit for him we're going to expand this pond a little bit for him too make sure that his, his well doesn't turn blue again so this is just something like i said research your contractor make sure because the company that built this has actually been in business for a long time and that they don't do a lot of ponds they do really nice work but this was something that that uh, they weren't real sure on what they were doing and, and like i said we see this all over the country and it just pains me every time we see it because you know the, the owner paid to have it built and uh, not this owner but the previous owner and, and unfortunately whenever this fellow uh, bought this for him and his family and young kids and stuff they want to make it a nice little fishing pond and and that's not a very big one it's only about a half acre but it just it just pains me every time I see this so anyhow trying to save you guys some hassle out there I uh, you can take and, and uh, post any comments down below and uh, somebody from our staff will be sure to answer so everybody take care out there